Hello everyone, I'm William Strife, and welcome to my Fallout 3 playthrough. This is the base game with no expansion content or DLC, and there are visual modifications running to just make the game look better. All of the gameplay content, however, remains unchanged, so you can follow along on console if you want to. Also, if you want to know more about the mods I'm running, a separate video will be made about them after the series ends. My character is focused on using big guns with melee and explosives as backup skills, and repair was intentionally left low to enhance difficulty in the beginning, but the skill has edged up over the course of the series with the collection of special skill-enhancing items. So, with all of that said, I hope you enjoy the play. What the hell is that noise? Oh my god! Die. You Satan spawn! Okay. Now, I have this feeling that... Yep, sure enough. Where there is one, there is two. Who would have imagined that I would run into Death Claws so close to Megaton? This is insane. Okay. Well. <sighs> okay, anyways. Um, it's about time that I head, uh, what is it, north, eastbound, to continue the search for dear old dad. So most of you know exactly where I'm headed, um, was it east? No, 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 I'm headed west. What am I thinking? There's a compass right down in the corner. Ugh, what's wrong with me? Um, I'm headed westbound, searching for dear old dad, so most of you know the location where I'm headed. And, um, that is Smith Casey's Garage. It's even mentioned in his, uh, holotape notes. The catch is that I've already discovered Smith Casey's Garage. Uh, I discovered it a long time ago. Oh, look. It's, uh, that evil creature which I shall not name. It's a mean bear. Let's just get rid of it. Man, it managed to get me despite the fact that... Oof. Anyways, uh, I'm headed to Smith Casey's Garage. But, there are more things in and around Smith Casey's Garage that I... Ooh, wasn't expecting to find an AK... Uh, well, not an AK, just I wasn't expecting to find an assault rifle. What's that noise? Oh, it's a 10 mil. Um, there are some things that can be found at locations in the vicinity of Smith Casey's Garage. So... Uh, instead of just straight... Oh, come on. Such awkward jumping mechanics. All for nothing. Great. Well, as I was saying, there are a lot of... Uh, there, there are a couple of things in the relative vicinity of the garage that I want to grab, so I'll be doing that first, but... Um, because it's been so long... Since it, what the hell? Because it's been so long since I found Smith Casey's garage, it was several, several episodes ago. Um, I'm not going to be fast traveling out to it. I'm just going to be walking out to you. I hate you. Oh my! Oh! What type of an idiot? Oh no! There's another one. I... Ugh. These sentry bots, they're so stupid. What enemy uses a missile at that close of range? Oh, I've been interrupted so much now. Oh, what was I saying? Um, instead of fast traveling out to Smith Casey's garage, because I discovered the location several, several episodes ago, um... So I could fast travel out there, but instead I'm just going to, uh... I'm gonna walk because, uh, there is a location further east from the garage that I need to visit first. And this is definitely not it. I really want to discover that fast travel location. Yeah, but... Yeah, there's the garage. I need to head more east. Or, not east, west. Um... You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to discover that marker 
there's nothing out here for me partic that's of particular interest, so I'm I'm just gonna hot foot it over to the Oh cripe. The number of giant rad scorpions that are showing up is starting to annoy me. I mean, granted, it does come with the territory as soon as I start leveling up. Uh, well, as soon as anyone who plays this game... What the heck is that noise? I don't think I've ever heard that noise. Maybe it's because I'm playing with headphones on. And, oh! Oh my <sighs> god, it's this place. <laughs> Oh my word. I didn't know that this was so close to what I was looking for. My word. Alright. Let's uh, equip the... Nope. Nuka grenades. Here we go. I have two of them. So I'm just gonna save my game because there's something very particular that spawns as soon as I open this cage. Just take the teddy bear for the hell of it. Where is it? It should be coming. There's a gore bag here. There it is! Alright, let's just vatch this motherfucker. And two... Like I said before, Nuka Grenades makes plasma look like a bubble bath. Wow, we talk about a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Ooh, we my allergies are kind of bad. I'll I'll probably be blacking myself out in the uh, in post to keep you from having to listen to me sneezing and blowing my nose. Uh, my allergies are on the up and down lately. Uh, some days it's, you know, nothing wrong whatsoever. Other days I am horribly congested and my nose is swelling up. <clears throat> but anyways, the show must go on like normal. Whew. Now, most of you prop well, a decent number of you probably know where I am at this point. It's Evergreen Mills. It's abs. Oh, probably should have uh, seen that coming. Son of a Ow. Where are they coming from? There's one. There's two. Come on. There we go. I hate the spread on this thing. At least I have more than enough bullets for it. Kind of unusual that I have, um... Kind of unusual that I have such an abundance of ammo for this thing. Usually, I'm running through the 5mm ammo like it's just water. Okay. Uh -uh. And... There's one. There's another over here. I love frag mines. They sell for good caps. And you, uh, you get, you get experience for, uh, disarming them fast enough. Okay, let's take these, uh, fools out. It's a little bit difficult to see them. Oh, Christ. They're filling me with holes. Let's try for the grenades. Ugh. Zero percent. Come on, he's not that far away. Oh. Okay, let's just... Let's go the low road. It's a little bit safer this way. One on the train. One in front of me. Come on. I'm getting kind of sick of this minigun. It's not doing a whole lot of damage. Uh-oh. Oh! How many of these guys have I killed now? Christ! It's a, it's a never-ending flow of raiders! I, I'd never remember there being this many raiders in Evergreen- Well, 
this many raiders outside of Evergreen Mills. Okay. Hopefully that's all of them. There are probably a couple more around the corner, though. Ooh-wee. Um... Is there anything in the shed? No. Doesn't look like it. Really? Where is he? Jeez. Um... Oh, it's coming from the left. Heal up. Okay. Get rid of you. Turn you into hamburger. And you. Full of holes. Oh, come on, you little. Ah, barrier, it's getting in the way. Okay. Oh, mother... You idiots! Ugh, I'm certain... I am certain at this point that my combat armor has turned into Swiss cheese. You, I'm just gonna... I took him out in one hit. Oh, eh. Oh, for... Not over yet. Give me a break. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Maybe I can take him out with... Nope, 0% chance. Let's see if I can take him out with... Frag grenades? This probably isn't gonna work. I completely missed. How could I miss? Oh, crap. Oh, that's like a scratch. Um... Gatling laser! <laughs> I don't want him to kill me. Ripe. Oh, Lord. Oh, come on. When does it end? I mean, some of you might be a little bit upset because I sound like I'm complaining right now, but the fact of the matter is that I don't remember Evergreen Mills being this saturated in Raiders, or at least I don't remember them pulling so well, to use, uh, you know, typical MMO terms. Ah, great. Much better. Now I can move. Um, as I was saying, I don't remember the raider, there being so many raiders here at Evergreen Mills before, and I don't remember them being so easy to, you know, pull, to swarm you. And, uh, over... completely overrun. Ugh. I'm just... I'm happy that it seems to be over. I say it seems to be over because, well, it's, uh... Quite frankly... Probably not over. Just a little bit of gore back there. I'm pretty sure that I've looted all of the raiders that I've killed. I'm gonna hop over to this other side here. Maybe, um, I can free the slaves, because if I'm not mistaken, they do have slaves in a pen somewhere back here. Why on earth are they dismembering people? I just don't understand it. Uh... Not much of anything for good loot in the shacks out here. It's locked. Just pop this open. If I can get it. There we go. Hello. I've set you free. Why bother? Well, he certainly does. Uh oh. Yeah. Tear him apart. I don't want to kill the slave, so I'll just cut it. Uh, come on. There we go. Slave pen key. 
just uh, put that away. Open this up. I gained uh, karma for that. Hello? Why bother? God, these people do not deserve to be set free. They are so unappreciative. Alright, now I know that there are some more shacks up higher on the ledge. So, um, I could go up there, but instead I'm just going to head straight into the foundry, because that's really the location that I'm headed. And there's going to be lots, and I mean lots of loot in there for me to take. So, let's just uh, get on with heading inside. Hopefully, no huge horde is going to be on the first floor, though I think that's being a little bit optimistic. There's one. I, no, I didn't kill him. Get rid of that one. Oh, no, wait. You want a little something? Something what? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. There's another raider. There's another raider. Just... Ugh. I hate that radio station. Where's the radio? Oh. Actually, I don't think that it's down here. Because I... It, it's, it's right on top of me, but it's nowhere here. It has to be upstairs. Oh, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Be well, I mean, I... I don't think that these songs are, um... I don't th think that there's a copyright on the songs played on the uh, Enclave radio, mainly because they're, uh, they're anthems and stuff, and most of the anthems were written, you know, a good 200 or so years ago during the founding of the United States of America. Well, not during the founding, but... <laughs> Uh, you know, sometime within the first 50 years, and considering that... Considering that the, uh, the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976, I think it is? Yeah, yeah, the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976 or 67, I don't remember which. Um, according to that law, music is... the copyright on any given content is good for the life of the artist plus 70 years after the death of whoever created the content. So, ooh, mentats. So, um, that being said, I think that because the, uh, the anthems and stuff... Oof, broken. No keyboard. Because the, uh, the, uh, patriotic anthems and whatnot that play on the Enclave radio. I'm pretty sure that those were written long enough ago to already be in the public domain by the time the uh, Copyright Act was put in place. Granted, I don't know when or if the tunes are actually copywritten, so... I could be wrong. I could be setting myself up for a big fall. Uh, but anyway. Uh... Psh, okay. Ooh! Nuka-Cola! I wonder. Scrap metal, no need to bother with the fission battery. Okay, what's up here? Ammo chests and probably a liquor cabinet. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I want that ammo. Oh, crap. Frag mine. Oh, hey, I leveled up. That's good. That's always good. Hot stuff. Okay. Um. Trying to remember. Yeah, I already picked up the explosives bobblehead a long time ago. So let's put five into energy weapons, let's max out explosives, let's put five into melee weapons, and... Ooh. Put five into science. Mmm. I don't know. 
I would love to put some points in repair, but that's against the rule that I set up for myself, so lockpick? Let's do medicine. Or... Yeah, just medicine. Uh, oh boy. Whenever it comes to the perk, I'm a little bit stuck here, because most of the perks that I really, really want to take are, uh, I've, al I've either already taken them or they're off the table. Uh, maybe fast metabolism? I don't know. I mean, there are some of these perks that you guys really want me to take, like Animal Friend, um, but really that, that just makes the game easier in a manner of I no longer have to shoot things, and that's not really something that I'm looking for. Uh, jeez, I don't know. Little Leaguer. Swift Learner. No, you know what? I'm just gonna take... Where is it? Can, not Kim Resistance. Uh, here we go. Life Giver. I think... Nope, that's not what I want. Life Giver. I'm just gonna take this. 30 extra health points. Um... I don't want... I'm, I'm so weighed down with crap, I don't really want to be taking too much that I don't need. What do we have here? Crack the safe. Bottle caps. Baseball's completely useless. Got some Medex on a plate. And some whiskey. Fix. There we go. Now we can move again. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs. There's probably some screwballs sitting in the rooms up here. Yep, sure enough. You're dead. Jeez, they take a lot of bullets. Where is the radio? I want that thing off. It has to be through that wall. So the room to the right. Whoa! Missile guy. There it is. Shut up. God, I hate that radio. Ah. How does a raider survive a minigun point blank to the chest? Oh, great. I'm over encumbered again. Running out of space so easily. Well, it's a small room. I think I'll be fine to uh, trudge around by just walking for a tiny bit. Some scrap metal. Shouldn't have opened that. Ooh, a nuke a grenade. Spikes. Um, scrap metal. Got some frag grenades in a pot. Not bad. Uh, oh, it's a safe. Can I get it with one pick? I can. Oh, yeah. Uh, bottle caps and money. I've got 20 units of weight that I need to try and reduce and get out of my inventory. Okay. Mm. I'm not going to take the booze. It's just going to weigh me. It's unnecessary weight at this point. Storage room key. Is this is this the storage room? Sure enough, it is. Ooh, fat man. Lots of chems. Some psycho. Laser rifle. Some F. So ugh. I'm over encumbered again. I think that what I'm gonna have to do is stash some of the stuff that I've picked up somewhere. And, um, do a major selling run after I finish with, uh, the Foundry all together. Well, the Foundry and the Bazaar. The Bazaar is downstairs. Okay. And done. Okay, I've shifted some weight. So, now I can move around properly. Let's check everything. I'm not missing something important. Like... Medical supplies. 
Uh, oh, hey, right away. Um, in here we've got scrap metal, anything worth it. That's a broken terminal. Well, I'm done up here. And for that matter, I'm pretty sure that I'm done with this part of the building. So, oh, I didn't get this uh, room done. Let's take all the food. Little boxes. Let's take it all. And the desk has 32 rounds. This room has a whole lot less in it than I was expecting, actually. Alright, just take everything off this guy, and this guy, and... Okay. Uh... Now, because I have so much weight on me, I'm just going to stash things in the... Then... No, I'm gonna stash things in this trash bin. Because I can reach it right from the door. Okay, there we go. Um, I have... Finished moving all the crap from upstairs down to here as well. Save. Now let's go through to the next section, which is just about as large as the previous section, with probably just as many raiders, so this is going to be fun sorting through it. Ooh, what's in here? A pack of six, not bad. Where? Oh. Hello! Death to you! Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Ooh. -hoo. Jeez. These things are... I hate raiders. I really do hate them. That's right. Run straight forward to your demise. I'll be taking care of you soon enough. Why they listen to Enclave Radio, I don't understand. Probably has something to do with the fact that uh, Three Dog does not encourage um, uh, association with raiders. So I suppose it shouldn't be too surprising. What's on the shelves back here? First aid supplies, a 32, and some ammo. Uh, metal boxes. Brahmin steak. Beer. I really have to ask where this beer comes from because all the alcohol from before the war would have spoiled long, long, long ago. Um. Nope. Nothing in the box. Great. Let's pop this open. Scrap metal. Uh. Lots of food in the refrigerators. And some booze. Uh, I think that's everything behind the counter. Yes, it is. It's everything. Okay, uh... You know, I feel kind of guilty because most... This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, this uh, trip to Evergreen Mills. I thought it would be a much quicker, more to-the-point affair. Um, and I kind of feel bad because... Uh, all I'm doing is monologuing my, um my exploit of looting stuff, saying exactly what it is that I'm picking up. I don't know. Um, so I suppose it brings up a, a unique subject that is worth asking you about. I've gotten some interesting feedback recently about some people don't like it whenever I talk about, you know, subject X, Y, or Z, and the fact of the matter is that I don't know what to talk about whenever I do these gameplay videos. I mean, to be quite honest, um, Let's Play videos are not my forte, they're not my style, but I do them because I know that it's something that, you know, people want to watch, so, um, doing Let's Plays is, it's not so much about what I want to do, it's about the fact that you guys want Let's Plays, quite clearly, um, as it has been, you know, clearly voiced for a long time, and, um, also, it's clear from the feedback that I get, uh, and the view counts that you guys enjoy watching Let's Plays as well. So, um, on that subject, I, th I figure I'll ask, are there any specific subjects that you guys want to hear me talk about, or things that you never want to hear anyone talk about, or something along those lines? Because 
Uh, I really don't know what to fill the dead silence with. Because let's face it, there's nothing more boring than a let's play that's, you know, the person isn't really talking. I'm not exactly a big fan of... Oh, holy crap, there are caps. They must have been paying whoever was uh, sliding up, on, up and down on that pole pretty well. Um, but anyways, I... Uh oh Where did you come from? Stupid raider. If I go that way, I'm just going to attract more raiders, and I'm not ready for that. I want to finish looting first. Because there's so much useful stuff here. And... There is a lot of scrap metal in here. Okay. Uh, crack this fridge open. Take everything there. What do we have next? I think I'm done looting out here. Take what this guy had. So, uh, yeah, you know, just be clear in the comments. If you don't want me talking about something or you would like me to talk about some specific subject, I don't know what. Uh, you know, just say something in the comments. Oh, jeez. How many of them are there? Oh, wee. She's in her skivvies. So is he. I'm pretty sure that two of these raiders were doing it in the back room. Um... Lots and lots of alcohol. Cigarettes. Huh? What is... Huh. Well... You know what? I'm not gonna bother trying to open that door. What do we have here? Now here's a lock that's worth picking. There's ammo in behind it. Why are all of the ammo cases locked? I don't understand. Who? Madam's key. Great. Over encumbered once again. What a victory. Uh. Okay. Ooh wee. Uh cash register. You you lock a cash register for twenty two caps. Great. She's got well the iguana bits are worth it. Foot locker has just about nothing. Uh energy weapon book. Hey everybody. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, uh What's in the back room? Some Rataway. And... Whiskey. Blastmaster armor. <laughs> I think it's obvious what was going on back here. Drugs and alcohol and chems. It just... A giant bed and girls were locked in cages. It's not obvious what uh, the idea of the back room of Evergreen Mills is for. Nothing hiding behind the door. Well, nothing hidden behind the door. I probably shouldn't have just slept in that bed. God knows what secretions could be all over the mattresses. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, oh, we've got water. That's good. And, uh, oh, I can't believe I almost missed this. Okay, uh, I think I'm done looting this room. This part of the area, uh, this part of the mill. Nothing useful. I think this was a souvenir shop at one point. Anyways. Um, now it's time for me to find, surprisingly, uh, a vendor in the middle of Evergreen Mills. There is a raider vendor in here called Smiling Jack. And, um, the reason why I know this is, you know, two reasons. What the? You're not all dead yet? <laughs> oh, my God. I hate you. And I'm over encumbered in in entirety. You know, I almost feel Whoa! Oh crap, that's smiling Jack. I don't want to kill him. 
Where are you going? There's a raider down here. Come on, boys! Oh. Me. Get rid of him. Okay, crap. <sighs> Jack, come here. Jack, I need to speak with you. Jack, I... Where is he going? Okay, I'm gonna sell everything off to him and get the stuff from the front room to sell off to him as well. Hey man, so. relax. We can do business. The rest of these guys around here might not want anything to do with you, but I got no problem with you. Well, not with you caps at least. Hmm. I cannot believe the amount of crap that I had to sell off to him. Especially the price that it took to repair some of my equipment. Ridiculous. He charged me like some 900 caps for my, um... To repair my minigun, Eugene. Come on. Open up. Great. Uh, so close to the sweet spot, yet so far. Uh... Nope. Get this pot out. Probably, yep, empty. Jack? What's going on over here? Nothing. Like always. That's his locker. He keeps all of his uh, supplies and equipment. It was turpentine. Not worth it. Okay. Foot locker? Beer? Nope. Uh, nope. Hey, looks like I've picked this place clean. Not much of anything to pick out of it, though. Um, so now, for the reason why I came here. Just hop. Hop. There we go. Uh, cigarettes. Scrap metal. I've all I've maxed him out. So I can't really sell this stuff back to him, but here we go, the barter bobblehead. You found a vault limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Never forget to walk away with more than you've brought. Your barter skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Alright! I didn't know that there was a safe back here. Probably would have been beneficial to pick that up before selling everything off to Smiling Jack, but to be quite honest, um, I had such a diff- Um... He's maxed out on caps, and he doesn't have anything useful for me to purchase. Nope, I'm missing the stuff for it. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Okay, I am done back here. Smiling Jack is maxed out on, um, the caps he can trade with. And because I'm not a small guns person, I know that some of you are just freaking out right now because I'm not- getting the terrible shotgun from him. And the terrible shotgun, for those of you who are unaware, is a unique variant of the combat shotgun. And it is a very powerful weapon. If you love shotguns and uh, you play Fallout 3, um, it is the weapon for you because it does shred things in the most effective way possible. Okay, uh, I'm done here. Now, it's time for me to get headed out uh, to another location near Smith Casey's garage. This was indeed the first effective way games place dramatic emphasis on an event. By having it pre-rendered. On the technological side of things, the arrival of pre-rendered sequences mostly came as a result of data storage. Games had just finally moved to optical disc-based mediums. With the ample data space, large video files could fit comfortably on a disc unlike a cartridge. In addition, the low cost of producing discs meant that if more than one was needed to hold all the data, it wasn't much of a problem to make more. 